Hey folks, it's Ivan from Nerdwork Network and Computer Enthusiast Master Race. Uh, today I got a bit more of a tutorial video on how to set up the uh, Butt Kicker Gamer 2 with a USB headset. Um, luckily for me, I did a little research before hooking up the Butt Kicker, but I know others have spent several frustrating hours trying to get it to work with USB headset or uh, similar setups on that. Uh, so I figured it'd be a good idea to go ahead and just make a little quick video on how to get it to work. Uh, this is how I got it to work with my setup, uh, so there are a variety of different other methods on that, but I'll get into that in just a moment. So a little bit of background uh, with my setup. I'm currently uh, using a HyperX Cloud 2 gaming headset, which uses USB for its connection. Uh, of course, USB is digital. Now, the butt kicker uses an RCA to 3.5 millimeter jack, uh, or at least for this instance of with, uh, connecting it to my PC. But anyways, uh, that is an analog source. Uh, so getting a, a single audio source to split into both digital and analog took a little bit of tinkering. Wasn't too difficult, but there's a few things, uh, extra things you have to do in this case. Now, like I said, though, there are a few different methods on how to achieve this. Uh, some are done with uh, some versions of Windows. Uh, you have the ability of uh, uh, making some adjustments to some of the uh, audio sources on that. Uh, I'm using Windows 10. Don't know if that feature is no longer available for it, if I just uh, wasn't able to find it. But I had other means. I was like, okay, I'm just going to skip this. Uh, and go on to the next. Uh, but you can also use a converter of sorts, but that's going to add on to the cost on that. I don't know an exact pricing on them, but I've heard some of those can range up to $100 marks, things like that. Not something you really wanted to use just for this device. If you have other means or other reasons for using it, then yeah, good. It works for it. But just for me using the butt kicker and a USB headset, I wasn't about to try and get any converter or anything like that. Uh, but uh, lastly, uh, the ability of using uh, different types of software can achieve the same purpose as well. Uh, well, sort of. And that's the case of that, or the route that I went. Okay, well, let's go ahead and get to the guide portion of this and done with my rambling. Uh, so the program I'm using is called Voice Meter. It is uh, from VB Audio. Uh, of course, I'll leave a link in the description as well, too. But a, uh, basically what it is, it's an audio mixer application endowed with uh, virtual audio devices. This is used to create a virtual I.O. to mix and manage any audio sources from one location to another location or any audio device or applications. Uh, to sum it up, basically what I'll be doing is I'll taking all the sound from the computer, whether it be gaming, music, videos, any of that fun stuff. And I'm going to take it and split it into two different locations. One analog for the butt kicker and then one digital for the USB headset. But of course, like I said, I'll go ahead and have a uh, link in the description. Uh, what you're going to go to is to vbaudio.com and you're going to go ahead and select on audio apps. And that has a variety of their different uh, software on here. Now, real quick, uh, this is donationware, so meaning it is free, but you are free to go ahead and donate. Uh, donating uh, provides additional features for some of the programs, things like that. But if you really enjoy the software and working with it and you think it works phenomenal on that, support the developers on that. That's how they continue to be able to offer stuff like this. Uh, but in this case, uh, what we're going to go and do is select voice meter. Uh, there is another version called Banana. Yeah, uh, which is similar to the program on that, except it has additional features. It's a little bit more advanced. Uh, you can do a lot more with Banana than a, uh, just a traditional voice meter. But for basic use, we're just going to use voice meter. So when you're on here, you're going to go and scroll down, and you're going to select the appropriate download package, either the uh, zip file or the exe. The zip package just contains the exe. It's just in zip format, so you'd have to extract that. But let's go ahead and minimize that now. I already have everything downloaded and uh, I got the zip package right here. So let's go ahead and extract this real quick. We'll use 7-zip. I'm just going to drag the exe, make it quick and simple. Then when you have that, uh, just go ahead and run it as administrator. Go through your usual prompts. Audio may kick out just a little bit because this is an audio device or audio driver and yeah, I'm using a microphone. But just go ahead and click install. Okay, installation complete. You must reboot your system to finalize installation. Uh, I don't have to do that. It's already set up on that, so let's just go ahead and minimize all of that. To confirm, go ahead and select hardware and sound in the control panel. Like I said earlier, I'm using Windows 10 as professional 64-bit. I'm using another program to kind of give me my Windows 7 feel. Anyways, uh, go to sound, scroll down to the very bottom, and confirm that you see voice meter input. Uh, you're going to go ahead and select that as default, either by clicking that or 
right clicking going to default communication device default device uh, you'll notice there's a cable input and then cable input A and B. Those are the virtual audio cables from the BB Audio. I'm not going to get into those, but there's some really cool stuff you can tinker around with that. A lot of different guides on the uh, internet, blah, blah, blah. But they can also help with this as well, too. But we're keeping this simple. So, like I said, make sure virtual media input is selected as default. Just go ahead and click OK and close out of that. Now, I got everything installed. Let me go ahead and get rid of that EXE file real quick. Now that I got that installed, let's go ahead and uh, get that uh, opened up. So you're just going to go to voice meter. Takes a moment for it to initialize. Uh, basically all you're focusing on here is the virtual input and the hardware out. You can take around with other things as well too. I'm not getting into that too much uh, for this guide. But uh, basically the virtual input is everything the computer is outputting. Uh, for the hardware out, you're going to go ahead and select A1. And I have mine select as the speakers and then A2 as my USB headset. Uh, so I got all of that set up. Technically, you're done from this point. I uh, don't need to make any adjustments or anything else unless you really want to. And if I were to play any audio through the computer, since it's now selected as default, the butt kicker and the USB headset will play it simultaneously. Uh, now, in order to go ahead and keep the settings saved, things like that, uh, you can go ahead and save your settings. And then you can go ahead and select System Tray on the menu, which basically just runs it at startup. Uh, if not, then you're going to have to load the program each individual time when you actually want both of them to run in there. Of course, leaving it as default sticks. But at that point, then everything's good, so you're free to go ahead and uh, play your game, watch your movie, listen to music, and have the butt kicker working with the USB headset at the same time. All right, well, that pretty much sums it up. Uh, so uh, if you like this, uh, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. If there's anything else that you think I should add, or if you found another method to be able to get this to work properly with your computer, like I said, there were a few other ones, but go ahead and comment it down in the comments so uh, everybody else can see it. Uh, also, be sure to check out all the media outlets. Uh, subscribe, see what's coming up on there. And if you haven't actually checked the review video with the little surprise thing blah 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 go ahead and check it out as well too for the butt kicker uh gamer 2 it should be up as well and uh also be sure to check us out on uh, computer enthusiast mastery so we'd love to have you over there on that we have a lot of cool things going on currently right now so yeah check it out uh but yeah thanks for watching and i uh, hope you enjoyed it and until next time have a good one